Getting from Cinema 4D to Unreal Engine can be complicated, but there are several different approaches. In this video, we're going to look at the Cineware plugin. It isn't perfect, but has its strengths, especially for someone coming from Cinema 4D. I've created this simple scene in Cinema 4D and want to show how I'm going to get it into Unreal Engine. In the next video, I'll break down my lighting setup and different techniques to consider. All right, here inside of Cinema, I have a simple cloner setup, a bunch of doodads. Quick shout out to Grayscale Gorilla and Doodad Collection they have and it keeps on growing. Check them out. They've got a whole bunch of assets uh, and a growing library of resources, 3D models included. And then I have this cube in the middle that the cloner is flying, uh, sliding through. And then a background object that's just cloned a few times that's also moving. Things are animating. The, the cloner is uh, being offset along the spline from left to right. The cube is just rotating uh, with the signal tag, just a little bit here, simple linear movement uh, across 90 keyframes with an additive playback. And the cloner in the back is just moving along the x-axis uh, over a period of 360 frames. Both the doodads uh, on the spline as well as the cube here that they are flying through have dynamics. All of these objects already have the UVs unwrapped and normals look good. I've also applied generic materials to all of the objects in just kind of a random order. It's not exactly perfect. This helps in Unreal because these objects will have these materials applied and it makes it easier to replace. One other thing to consider is uh, converting all these signal tags if you use signal to keyframes. And I actually ran into problems with my Redshift camera. Uh, for whatever reason, it wasn't importing into Unreal through Cineware. And I like my camera setup here. So I just switched to the standard renderer and quick created a standard camera and then switched back to Redshift. There might be a better way to do that, but that's what I did. And then once that all, that's all set up, the last step is to save for Cineware. And I just create a duplicate of this project, which is this one's R8. And then I just add a uh, dash CW at the end for Cineware. It will take a minute to save out. It does a lot of calculating and converting. Cineware is a conversion format that creates a usable Cinema 4D file that allows you to use it in other programs. So this is great if you're more comfortable in Cinema 4D or you're using a specific tool set. If you haven't yet, you're gonna to wanna to go to Maxon's website and download the latest Cineware installer for Unreal Engine. And here in Unreal, I've created a new folder and a new level uh, that I wanna import my Cineware file into. First, you're gonna to wanna to go to your plugins, type in Cineware and enable this plugin. Restart your engine if you need to, I've already done that. And then here under Datasmith, you're gonna to wanna to import your Cinema 4D file that we just created. I like to put it inside of this folder. Uh, I like my cameras enabled. I didn't create any lights, so I don't need those. Geometry, materials, and textures, we're gonna bring in those original ones that we can replace. Animations, and everything, I mean, everything should be set. So just hit import. Again, this will take a little bit of time as well. And first thing I'd like to do is create a light just so I can see what's going on. Directional light is nice. Uh, turn up the strength and then find my camera and I'll just pin it just so I can see it at all times. And just to tidy up the scene, I'm gonna create a few folders. And then I lit this scene with an HDR and then I need to change the source type to a SLS specified cube map. And then I drop in my HDR. And then I turn up the intensity, say about like 10 here. And then I realize my camera exposure needs to be adjusted to... And at this point it's good to double check your animation because nothing's moving inside your animations folder. Um, is a sequencer. So open that, double click it, and then you can see here all the keyframes from Cinema 4D are brought in. And then if you hit play, there it is. Things are moving. If something's missing, there's a good chance that the object's normals are flipped. 
And so if you've changed the material to two-sided, you can fix that issue. So for instance, this material, when I double clicked on it, has a two-sided option. So I can just enable that and it would show up. So the animation looks good. I'm gonna close Sequencer for now. And under the materials folder, here are all the materials that Cinema brought in. This little asterisk next to them means that changes have been made and you need to save. So I'm gonna hit save all on my content browser. And this is gonna save, this is actually gonna save everything that I brought in through Cineware. An easy way to replace these objects materials is just actually click on it and then hit delete. And then it brings up this option here to force delete, but you can actually replace references down here. You can scroll through and find a different material that you have and replace it with that one. This will replace any reference, yes. Save selected. One nice thing about this workflow is you can go back into Cinema, make changes to your file, save as, uh, replace your Cineware file, and then re-import the same file in Unreal and it will update. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any suggestions. In the next tutorial, I'll cover lighting this scene and exporting using the ACES workflow. I hope you find this helpful. See ya.